Hey Cella Bellas and welcome back to my channel. Shout out to Sunlam for sponsoring this video. A few months ago, I posted a Q&A sticker on Instagram asking you to ask me questions about finances. Most of the time when I do these Q&A stickers on Instagram, I do get a bit of questions about how did we finance a house and how do we have two houses? What do we do for a living? Do we have savings? And many of you ask me questions about finances and I am honored that you guys look up to me in that sense. But I also don't have it all together and even after doing two YouTube videos, I still don't have it all together. So when Sanlam approached me to do a campaign surrounding wills, I was very interested because I also needed to know why do I need a will? Like I thought that being married with an anti-nuptial contract, so ANC, I thought that you didn't need a will because of that and I was really really wrong. So when I had my briefing call with the Sanlam team, I made extensive notes in my Bella planner of course about why I need a will and I thought it would be such a cool way to explain it to you guys in a way that will kind of live on the internet forever. So let's get started. Now you guys know that I'm all for women empowerment and women in business and if you've been following me for a very long time, you'd also know that I have a very soft spot for single moms. So when Sanlam told me that women are almost 20% more likely to not have a will than men, it made me very confused. I wondered why don't women have a will in place to protect their assets and to protect their estate when they pass on. And also another thing to remember is in South Africa, 42% of households are run and headed by females. So other than me not thinking I needed a will because I had an ANC in place, I also thought that I didn't have enough assets. Let's be serious guys. When you think about wills, you don't think about it as something that you need. For me, a will has always been something that I see in the movies or something that mega rich people have or I don't know why I have this picture but in my mind it's like because they use the term estates in walls I'm like okay you need to live in this massive house with like acres of land I don't know why but that's just what I thought walls were about I'm like I don't need a wall like honestly what do I even have so when I sat with the Sanlam team to discuss everything so many things clicked and made more sense and I'm actually going to show you guys how to draft a wall on the Sanlam website which is super easy. So in my life currently, when I think of the question why do I need a will and the Sanlam team advised me what happens if Trevino and I both pass away at the same time? We have assets on our name, what's gonna happen to it? Where is Ollie that's lying on the bed here with me? Where is Ollie gonna go? Um, who gets our properties, who gets our cars, who gets my ring, it's things like that. Now, I, I don't want you to think of this as being a very morbid topic because I know that sometimes when it comes to these financial questions and financial topics, especially in the Indian community, and I can say that because I am Indian so I can relate, things like this aren't freely discussed because it kind of seems like bad luck or taboo or a topic that's just a downer. I know we, we don't speak about ANCs, we only get married in community of property, we don't speak about wills, we don't speak about funeral policies, but I just want you to come at this video and just pay attention and focus and just be open to understand what I'm trying to say. From personal experience, from a family member passing away and not having a will, I saw how complicated and long-winded the process was for the family members to get what was left behind by the person. So when you draft a will, it just makes it that much more seeming, seamless, seamless for your family that's left behind to get your assets or your money or whatever it is. Now the difference between having an anti-nuptial contract and a will is very simple. One day we're gonna have children, right? In our anti-nuptial contract, it doesn't say anywhere what our children will get. So for example, when Trevino purchased this ring, we purchased it from a company where they have a buyback option where you can sell this ring back to them and buy a bigger one at some point, a bigger diamond at some point. And I said that's not something that I want to do because this ring is so sentimental and it's the ring that Trevino chose to ask me to be his wife with. I really, really want to pass this on to generations to come. Whether they decide to make a new ring out of this diamonds or use this ring if it's still something that's in style at that point in life, 
I really, really do want to pass this ring on. So that would be something that I would include in my will. Another thing that people don't think about, and when I say people, I'm also talking about me, having an anti-nuptial contract doesn't say where your children go if you pass away. For example, we have kids like Ollie, like we have a pet now. We have kids and we pass away. Who takes care of our kids? Who's gonna be guardian? Who's gonna take care of them financially? I also asked the question, and again, this may seem a little bit morbid, but when I'm making financial decisions in my life, I ask every single question possible. For example, when we got married and we did our ANC, I asked the lawyer, I said, what happens if you die? To the lawyer, because what happens to our contract? Then she explained how that process works. So I asked the Sanlam team, what happens if my beneficiary also passes away? For example, if my beneficiary on my will is my husband, what happens if both of us pass away? And the lady gave such a good example. She said, sometimes, and just think about the movies now. Let's just try and make this a little bit less sad. Think about the movies when our whole family dies. Who gets what then? Because the husband has the wife as a beneficiary, then it's the children, but now everyone passes away. So she says she always recommends that in addition to your spouse and your kids, you add someone else out of your family, whether it's a parent, a sibling, a cousin, aunt, uncle, best friend, whatever it is. She recommends that you always add someone else to your will as a beneficiary too. Then I had the question of, what happens if you don't own your house or you don't own your car? Meaning that you still pay repayments every month, you still pay a bond every month. And she told me that most of these loans that you take from banks come with a credit life policy. For example, on the property that I own, I also have a credit life policy that I pay every month where in the event of death, that policy will pay off the bond owed to the bank. Ollie, sir? Thank you. <laughs> so what type of assets can you add to your will? And I know that the majority of my audience are in a similar age range as me. So I'm assuming we kind of have the same type of assets. So I would say in addition to a house and car, cool. The other things that people may not think about is, for example, pets. What happens to your pets? Jewelry of value, equipment that you may have. What else? What else can I think of? Let me see if I can look around this room and think of things. Sentimental items. Guys, my grandparents bought me, bought us this Bible for our wedding. And this is something that I want to pass down to the next generation. So this will also be in my will. I think this is super important. So these are the things that you can add into a will. You don't have to be some rich old person living on an estate with like a farm and horses and 15 acres of land to have a will, you can create a will now. And then the big question that everybody wants to know, and I also ask this question because it's important, how much does it cost? So with Sanlam, there is no onboarding fee at all, and there is no cost to come collect the documents. So for some reason in South Africa, technology wise or something, the will can't be accepted if it's digitally print, digitally signed. So Sanlam will arrange someone to come to your house, collect the originally pen ink signed will, and they'll take it back to their offices. So that's also done free of charge. They also keep it for you. Where do they keep it? In my mind, it's kept in like a huge safe. They keep it for you in this huge safe free of charge. The only time that you will have to pay a fee is when they have to wind up your estate, which means when you pass away. And that fee is 3.5% of the value of the estate. And something interesting that the lady also told me was that sometimes people actually speak to financial advisors and as their estate keeps growing, so for example, as they buy more properties, um, businesses grow, make more money. They speak to financial advisors who then help them save for this 3.5%. Because say for example, and guys, Indian people love drama and drama always follows, especially when someone passes away. Say for example, there are seven kids and three of them are unemployed. Now, how many is that? Ooh, maths. The, fourth, the four children left have to put money together to make this 3.5% to wind up their state to get what their parents left for them and they feel like the other three who are unemployed don't deserve to get what's stipulated in the world because they can't afford it so to avoid situations like that some people actually save up this 3.5 percent 
in advance by speaking to financial advisors assessing their assets and i feel like such an adult talking about this so enough talking let me show you how to create a wall online You'll need to fill in all your details, which I am just going to breeze through because like I said, it's personal. It's important to remember when adding in your estate that you don't include your retirement funds, retirement annuities and any policies nominated to be paid out to beneficiaries outside the estate. I am an adult. I am officially an adult. If you guys found this video insightful and informative as I did on my call making extensive notes, please do give this video a thumbs up. I have added a link in the description of how you can create your will on Sunlam. And once again, thank you to Sunlam for sponsoring this video. Bye, Sela Bellas.